Hi, I'm Erin McCormick, and I am a fifth grade teacher at Holland Elementary in Davis County. How has the kid-friendly grant specifically supported you in your personalization efforts? Oh, um, the kid-friendly grant has been amazing. From the very get-go, just the knowledge that they've provided through the different learning forums and all of the different speakers that we've had, the different, you know, table conversations, the large group conversations that we've been able to have has really benefited me because I'm with like-minded people. I'm with people who, you know, have the same beliefs about teaching as I do, the same methods of teaching that I do. And without the grant support and the different equipment that they've provided, you know, for my classroom, I definitely would not be where I am today. I'm Sarah Appleby. I'm a seventh grade reading teacher at Davis County Middle School. I think the networking piece, just um, getting to hear what other schools are doing, getting to see how other schools tackle some of the same things we tackle, um, and then just building those partnerships with other teachers. Um, also, it's, it's helped me build my leadership too because I got to share a lot of things and I got to share things that I was doing and I've had a lot of positive feedback and things that have actually lasted outside of our forums with other teachers. Hi, I am Melanie Duckwell. I teach at Eastview Elementary School in Davis County and I teach fourth grade writing and language arts. It has opened my eyes to some other um, opportunities, strategies, um, almost given me a sense of I can. Um, we ask students all the time to, to step out, take a risk, um, it's okay to fail. And this, being a part of this community as a practice, has allowed me to learn, um, to set a goal, and then go back to my classroom and practice and tweak it to be mine, then return to the, with those same individuals that I don't teach with on a daily basis or even connect with often, and then share again with what I'm doing and how to even tweak that to enhance that intentionality of that instruction even more. My name is Tina Jennings. I teach fourth grade math at Audubon Elementary School. First of all, resources in the form of information. I've been able to attend multiple forums where I've been able to participate in multiple professional developments of my choosing. It's been amazing to be able to go and look at the sessions and be able to decide which session I wanted to go to so that I could grow more. And in every forum there again has been opportunities for me to share and connect with other teachers that are in the same struggles and in the same instructions that I am that we can kind of share information. Also I've been given a cognitive coach who has always been there for me anytime I had any kind of questions and said hey can you help me find some resources on this and he's been able to come into my classroom and give me feedback which has been amazing also just in funding it's unfortunately it costs money to be able to make great changes whenever you want to do self-paced it takes a lot of technology and I've been blessed to be at a school with a principal that it loves technology so I had lots of technology but I didn't have quite enough so I was able to use some of that the extra iPad that I was given I was also able to use some some money that was granted to my classroom to provide wobble chairs which was a great ch um, choice and flexible seating I was able to purchase some areas for kids to be able to sit when they are working by themselves and um, just also in materials because I've also been given lots of instructional books that I can use to look for new, new strategies, new ideas, and um, be able to make the best growth that I can.